Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. My Emily Lay order finally came. I am so excited to open it. I wanted to show you guys exactly how it's packaged, so I wanted to do the open live on camera. You're gonna see the covers for the first time with me. I haven't touched or looked at these. This is the way they come packaged. They came in a box with bubble wrap, and so they are wrapped really well. And you guys, I splurged because I really wanted to get a weekly and a daily to compare for you guys for those who are really trying to decide between the two. So they're wrapped really well, and you know I don't wanna mess up this pink box. So I'm gonna dig in here carefully. I love that she did a special pink box for her 10th anniversary. I think that's really fun. I have kept all my navy blue boxes. I love navy blue and gold and I store things in them. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should if you're interested in hearing from me every day. That's where I check in every day and we get to know each other better. We have a great little community there. So follow me on Instagram at Amanda's Favorites. And when I do giveaways, they're always on Instagram. Also, that's where I do my giveaways from. So let's see which planner I got of the daily and the weekly. And then I'm going to do my pen tests and familiarize myself with these, even though I've had them in the past, but with these new ones. And then I will come back and in this video, I will do a full review of the daily. And then I will do a separate video of a full review of the weekly. Okay, guys, here we go. Ah, do we hear the angels singing? So I went with the Happy Stripe, the thin Happy Stripe. You guys, they protect these planners. Not only are they in the bubble wrap that you see, but they are in this clear cellophane bag under the bubble wrap and then the bubble wrap. So they are protected really well. I went with the thin Happy Stripe because absolutely love Happy Stripe, but Happy Stripe is around every year, and I just love the way the thin Happy Stripe looks. I love the navy nameplate on it, so I'm excited to dig into that one, and let's dig into the weekly. I have not gotten a weekly since she added tabs. I got a weekly the first year she made it as a bound book before she added tabs. You guys, I strayed from what I thought I was going to get. As you know, if you follow me on Instagram, I thought I was going to get the navy dot and the thin happy stripe. It was between those two, and I thought I was only going to get a daily. Then when it came down to that I was going to get both of them to review for you guys, I just love the floral. It's different from what I would normally get, and I just I strayed from my initial feeling of the navy dot. Happy Stripe, Thin Happy Stripe was my initial feeling. So I went with the Fancy Floral. And we will get in to both of these, you guys, once I've done my pen test and familiarized myself with them. My first impressions, first impressions are the Fancy Floral is really pretty. I like the little gold touches on there and some of the flowers. I almost actually went with a the normal Happy Stripe in this one. But I thought, no, I'm getting the thin Happy Stripe. So obviously I was Happy Stripe happy this year. I'm very happy with this one though, it's beautiful. And then my initial thoughts about the thin Happy Stripe is I absolutely love it. Love it, love it. It's beautiful. I love thin Happy Stripe. It is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna do my pen testing and we will be, I'll be back for the review. Okay, to start with, I just wanted to tell you inside your keepsake box is a little letter from Emily. I love these keepsake boxes. If you follow me on Instagram, you have already heard me rave about them. So this is my third daily simplified planner and my second weekly simplified planner. So I have a collection of her boxes and I use them for so many things from storing planning stickers to storage of pens to storage of cards to storage of post-its, to um, my kids' school programs. So it's just, there's an array of things you can use these boxes for. I hope nobody throws away their boxes. They're so nice to store things in. And of course, you can store your planner in it at the end of the year. Of course, if you wanna keep your planner and you don't want it just sitting on a shelf, you can definitely use a storage box for that. So 
It's very nice. If you're going to get rid of it, ask someone in your family or a friend if they want it for storage because I think it's a shame to throw it in the dump. The old storage box I have didn't have this uh, sticker on it and I like her 10th anniversary thing going on. So that's my spiel on the boxes. I think we're going to try to do the compare right now in one video, but basically I'm going to walk you through the daily and walk you through the weekly and kind of talk about a comparison. I'm going to see if it gets too long. So that's what we're going to try to do. So many people ask, should I get the daily? Should I get the weekly? That's the question. That is a question I see asked from Emily constantly at launch time. So we're going to go through all that. Before we do though, I want to show you this little booklet that comes with your planner. It says, for what matters most, and it's just a thank you so much for your purchase, and it's a little bit about getting set up, and kind of like basic four steps to get started. One, two, three, four. We're going to talk about all this, and I'm really excited to be able to share this with you guys because so many of you have watched my video on my 2017, which was the last one that I got, calendar year. You guys really wanted me to get one and do a follow-up with pen testing and talk all about that, so we are gonna do that today. Let's jump into the daily, and before we do, let me emphasize the size difference here. So if you line this up, not counting the rings, so you've got a lot in the rings there too, but the pages are a little wider and definitely a little taller, and with the rings being on there and it being so much thicker being a daily, it's just, it's not nearly as portable. If you want really light and really portable, this is a really light, really portable planner. Really nice, easy to write on the go because it's a hard back. And it's just, it's beautiful. And if you buy her bands, which I never am on the go with my planner, so I didn't. If you buy her bands, it's a great way to be able to throw it in your bag and this just, it feels so light. And look at it compared to my hand. It is not big. This is your weekly, okay? And so that is it compared to your daily. I hope just that helps answer size difference questions. Now you know on her website you can go and print her page layouts to try out to see if you want the daily or, or the weekly. I do not know, I don't think, the last time I printed them at least, they did not, they were not the exact size as this page. So they were a full size paper, but I haven't printed them in like a year and a half or something or more. So they may have changed that to match the page scale because that would be helpful to have the exact size that it's going to be. Okay, we're going to run through the daily first. So in your daily, you get a pocket. It comes with one sheet of stickers hooked right in here, and they're really cute stickers. I love the colors in our stickers. They're just, they're fun. You can easily stick one of, I don't have one, but you can stick her mini notebooks right in here since this does not have any note pages in her daily. The weekly does have note pages. The daily does not. One of her mini notebooks that she sells, Emily Lay, fits right in this pocket, and so it makes a great... Um, extra notes place since it doesn't come with notes. All right, so you have your one page of stickers that comes with the planner. You have your nameplate page. Okay, then you have a letter from Emily right here. And then you have, she goes through the process of simplifying. Then she goes through how to use your simplified planner. So her four steps are do your prep work, add birthdays and anniversaries, add reminders, make time plus get messy. And while we all know I get plenty messy in my planners, I do not need anyone to tell me or give me permission for that one. And then there's a caring for your simplified planner. I have never had any problems. This fancy floral was my third simplified planner. And while I don't carry it outside of the house, it does get a lot of use and movement with inside of the house. And I don't give it any kind of special treatment. And all three of my dailies from her have held up really well. But she has a caring for your simplified planner. Then she has a year at a glance for 2018 and 2019 because this is your academic. So you're going from August 2018 to July of 2019. Then she will have her calendar year launch, which will be in September. She already has that date on her website. And that will be your normal calendar year, January through December. But her academic year is August through July. The 2018 holidays are here. 
in your 2019 holidays because the years cross over. So it's really nice that you get both of them. I actually love when planners come with just a full holiday list like this. Sure, they're written in on the pages, but I just like to be able to easily look at when's Easter this year, um, when's Mother's Day this year, so when's Daylight Savings Time this year. Those things that change every year. I like to be able to look those up easily. Then you have something new this year, simplified prep work. At least I think this is new this year because I didn't get the 2018 calendar year one. So simplified prep work, you're gonna go through what worked last year, what I what didn't work last year, ideas for new routines, ideas for healthy habits. And then you have your weekly routines, Monday through Sundays laid out to think about what routines you wanna implement on those different days of the week. You have a morning routine and an evening routine. So you can think about all this. Oh, this is a great thing I think that they added because her, the simplicity challenge of going through your home, like literally like from the kitchen to the fridge to the garage, um, they do that on Instagram at least once a year. This year they've already done it twice a year, I think. But it's nice to have it laid out in your planner so you can do it at any time of year that you want. It's kind of like a full house clean out. You can do it at any time of year you want or you can make it stretch the whole year. You know what I'm saying? If you want to just be like, I'm going to do two tasks a month off here, and then by the end of the year, I'll be done with the list. You can totally do that. So I really like that that's printed in there. That's a nice addition. And then you have your yearly bucket list that she always has. I love that this is in here. I like thinking of a bucket list for the year. It's something fun. Okay. This is what your month looks like, and I already wrote some things in my month of August because I wanted to do the pen test for you guys. Now, I will say this, I don't use my monthly layouts in my daily, typically, ever, because I use a weekly planner also. If you follow me, you know that I use an Erin Condren vertical, colorful week at, and my big monthly calendar, that's where all my monthlies go. So my daily planner is, for me, not for pre-planning or planning ahead or advanced planning because my daily planner is just for my to-do list. But that's because I also use a weekly planner. So if you use those two in conjunction, you do not need to replicate your monthly unless you just want to. I find it redundant because I don't turn to my daily to see for pre-planned items. But if you are using only a daily, then of course you're gonna wanna fill in your monthly. I hope that that I explained that well. I actually love her cursive font that's up here. I love the look of her brand and the fonts they use. Okay, so your month, you have a big margin up here. Then they give you a simplicity tip every month. So this one is like, for example, use this month to clear the clutter in your home, walk your house with two trash bags, one for items to donate, and one for items to discard. So every month they give you a different simplicity tip. So if you want to take on that challenge, then you'll be accomplishing things in your house, you know, all month. Something else to point out is that her tabs are always happy stripe colors. And the color of that monthly tab coordinates with the color of the month up here and her little pineapple emblem right there. So that color of navy is going to coordinate for that for the month. So I wrote a few events on here. And you guys can see, I wrote on the page behind me here. I definitely think this paper is different than the paper that I got in my 2017 calendar year Simplify Planner. I definitely think this paper, it feels like the same paper, but maybe I got a batch that was a little bit off because I had a lot of ghosting in my 2017. And I will show you, I did a pen test in my 2017 too to show you the difference because lots of people have watched that video and people want to know. But before we even go over the page layout, let's go into the pen test. Here are so many pens, you guys. And me with my normal handwriting, I really tried to write neatly on this page for you. I love how you have this big margin at the top. You can write it's someone's birthday. You can write you're going on a date that night. You can write it's the last day of school. You can write anything. When there's a holiday, it goes up there also. So I will show you that Christmas day is written up here and Christmas Eve is written there. That's where your holidays will be written on your daily. Okay. And I will show you that up close 
it coordinates with the color of the day and I love that each one of her days is a different color and it stays that same color all throughout the planner we will run through that let's see I guess there's no holidays in August let's look at the December monthly this is where your holidays go on the monthly calendar they're really light gray and they are at the bottom of your box just like that that's how your holidays look on your monthly so let's go back to this I did like every kind of pin this is the kind of pin she sells in her pin packs. I wasn't able to pick one up. It was in my cart, but I wasn't fast enough. Her Happy Stripe pins are Pilot Precise V5s. That's the type of pin I used a mild liner. I used Sharpie pins, Paper Mate flares, Pilot G2s, Pentel Energels, Friction, Muji's, and all this blue writing is Pilot G207. So those are all the pins. And here is what it looks like on the back side of your page. It's not like anything terrible coming through to me right this was my 2017 planner and I did do a sharpie so ignore that because that of course but I feel like my 2017 planner showed a lot more through these are the exact same pens right here you don't need to pay attention to the Tombow or the sharpie that was for my other video when I used to test those just for fun not because I don't think you should be able to write in any planner with a sharpie or a Tombow but this was my 2017 and then this is my 2018 so do you guys see that big difference I do I see a big difference in this one and this one I mean if you ignore the Sharpie and the Tombow so I am happy with this paper in this planner it's a bright white it is a 70 pound paper and it clearly takes pen differently than my 2017 planner did. Some people told me I must have gotten a bad batch of paper in my 2017 because theirs was never like that. So I'm really happy with how this pen test turned out. I hope that answers you guys' questions about that. I am very happy with my happy stripe. I'm happy and excited to use this when August starts. This is my first time to have the bright gold rings. And I have to say, I think just because Fancy Floral was my favorite cover ever, I just, I keep turning to my Fancy Floral. <laughs> and I'm so used to these rings, but it's beautiful, the bright gold rings. And here are some of the page changes. If you maybe used an older version of hers and now you're on to the new one. So in the older version, she had a quote on every page. And she had a divided section at the bottom that said dinner and notes. Now that division has been taken away and it just says notes and there is no quote at the top. I personally am a huge fan of those changes because like she talked about, her whole brand is simplicity, is, you know, leaving the page open for you. I like that it's left open for your interpretation. I like that it's just a big note section. I will completely use that for all different kinds of things. So I'm a big fan of that. Okay, let's go over the basic page layout here. And this is the way I always picked up my Simplified Daily and it never had any problems. All year I would grab one ring and it always ended up being the same ring, I think. And I would just flip it like that because I would always be looking at one day at a time. One day at a time. And so my planner was always flipped like that. But every day of the week is assigned a different color. We'll go through those colors. And that color, I love this little thing, is written in your My Day and your To Do for the Day too. I like that little detail and then it's also the color is taken down to your notes for the day so all you have on these simple pages is your timed appointments or if you want to do time blocking and map out your day from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. then you have your to do's right there and that is all you have on your page you have 16 to do boxes I just counted 16 because I like to have those details. I was going to write that down on my pen test page, but I don't have a pen here to grab. That's really close. So you have 16 to do tick off boxes. You have your notes and you have this. And I know many people want to hear how I use a daily planner, but I'm not going to take a lot of time right now to go through that. I will film a separate video. Basically, like I said, I don't pre-plan in my daily because I pre-plan in my weekly. My daily, I like to pull out fresh every day, and I don't like to pre-plan because change things change too much. If I start writing to-dos, you know, three days ahead, my life has already changed. So I 
try to leave it blank until I get to that day. That's just how I use it. If it's your only planner, your daily planner, I imagine you're going to be going in and writing things ahead of time in here. So everyone's going to use it a different way. Mine is basically my to-do list and mapping out. If I don't have any appointments that day, then I generally just use this for other notes and other lists. Or sometimes if I have long things to write, I even just go all the way across. I've used mine like that too. I will just flip through a few pages for you guys, but I do have some videos on this 2017 planner showing how I use mine. I never kept any of mine until this point because I wasn't running my channel. But my planner gets messy. It is messy and it looks different every day. It looks different every day. So this is the way my 2017 planner looked. I definitely use it. It definitely gets messy. And my daily planner, whatever it is at the time, is like my right hand man. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I change daily planners quite often just because I have access to them after I've reviewed them. And since I have no advanced planning in my daily planner, then it doesn't mess me up at all. And I kind of change daily planners on a whim, whatever I feel like. I might use one for a couple months or I might use one for a couple weeks. But that is how my planning looks like in my daily. Now, I want to go through the colors of the day of the week, which will also be the same in the weekly. And I want to show you how the weekend pages are laid out. So Monday is navy. Tuesday is a teal. Wednesdays are an aqua blue. Thursdays are a Kelly green. Fridays are an orange, which these are all the happy stripe colors, but the yellow didn't show up well in printing. My old one is yellow still, and so they changed the color to orange instead of the happy stripe yellow color. Saturday is pink, and Sunday is the hot pink fuchsia. Here's what your Saturday and Sunday looks like. You still have a margin up here for Saturday. Saturday and Sunday are a split page. You have a my day, but there's no times. And then you have a to-do, but it's, of course, shorter. Then she has left you a margin for Sunday to put a happy memory from this week. I do like that margin left there for that. And if you don't want to use it for that, of course, you can use it as kind of a header for the day or just more note room. Sunday does have less room because she has her my day, but then she has her four weekly preps pre-printed on every Sunday for you. And her four weekly preps are plan meals for the week ahead, tidy up for a clean slate on Monday, write task appointments for the week, and fill your tank, enjoy what matters most. I appreciate those tasks, but just for me personally, I would rather them not be printed there, but I know some people love them so much. Um, just me personally, because I need more room on my Sunday, my Sundays are busy too, and so, but many people love those. There are, and I have put this on my Instagram before, um, oh, it's Faye something, and I can't remember. I'll put it down in the description box. She is on Etsy, and she makes some great stickers that just cover up your weekly prep. So if you want to use it for more, um, have room, more room for listing, more room for whatever you want. So there is an Etsy shop that makes a sticker specifically for that. All right, so you have your happy memory space, and then... There's no other tick boxes anywhere on your day. That's what people love about the Simplified Planner is that there are not a whole bunch of boxes telling you what to fill in. There's not a whole bunch of things calling your name that if you don't fill them in, it seems like you're leaving something empty. It is for you to make whatever you need to make of the page, and I love that because personally, I just lean towards not wanting a bunch of boxes to fill in. So... I like free reign to do what I need to do with my page. So I love that. All right, so each month, that color coordinates with your tab. Her tabs hold up wonderfully. They're in the happy stripe colors. They're beautiful. There are no note pages throughout the whole planner. Her O-rings have always held up perfectly for me also. I've had no problems ever with her O-rings, and I've always raved about those. So there's no note pages. This one, since it goes through the end of July... They did, July 2019, they did give you August 1st just because, you know, a two-page view. And then you do have the back of August 1st you could write in. But that is the Simplified Daily Planner. Now, if you're looking at the weekly, let's look through the weekly. And I also did a pen test in it for you, of course. All right, guys. 
So your weekly planner comes with a pocket here also, and your stickers are stuck in your pocket right here. Cute stickers, definitely love the colors. Then both, I forgot to point out, in all her planners this year, your end pages on front and back are navy for every planner this year. Um, so that is what they've picked for their end pages this year. Then you go and you have the very same beginning pages, so we're not going to go through them all. You have the nameplate page, then you have all the exact same pages to work through. Your same holiday pages, your simplified prep work, your simplified challenge, the simplicity challenge, this more simplified prep work. Okay, it's all the same whether you pick the daily or the weekly. Your calendar is going to look the same, but it's going to be a little bit smaller. So that's what people have asked. Of course, it's going to be a little bit smaller because the page is a little bit smaller. Let me fold the back over here and just put page on top of page so you guys can see that a little bit. The page width is almost the same, but the page height, you have about that much more room. Guys, I just spent way too much time measuring these boxes, and let me tell you, the daily are only a teeny bit bigger, not even measurable. I don't think you're going to miss room. If you're worried about daily boxes, there is not a big enough difference in the daily boxes here for you to be worried about that. I didn't point out you have a note section right here. Your monthly layout looks exactly the same. You have simplicity tips still, and I forgot to mention this in the daily, you have your previous month and your next month at a glance, and the same in the daily. So it is exactly the same. It's the same fonts. You're getting the same information, okay? Just, you're getting a weekly layout and a little bit smaller page. So here is your weekly layout. Let's talk about this. And yes, your book does lay flat really well. I mean, at first you might have to just push it down, give it a little massage if you're gonna turn to the middle, but it's gonna stay down. Like I just opened this book and it is staying down. So it's great. I love her tabs, we will talk about that. The first weekly planner I got from her didn't have tabs and people wanted tabs. So she added them. This has the same 70 pound Mohawk uh, paper that is in the daily, but I did the whole pen test again for you guys so you could see. This is what it looks like in the weekly. Those are all my same pens in there and that is what it looks like. To me, it looks just like it should with 70 pound paper. I don't have any complaint about that. It looks just like it should with white 70 pound paper. So let's get into this weekly layout. Let's turn to a fresh week. How about that? Let's turn to a fresh week and look at the weekly layout. Your days are going to be the same colors as in your daily. So Monday is navy, Tuesday is a dark teal, Wednesday is an aqua blue, Thursday is a Kelly green, Friday is your orange in place of your yellow. So the happy stripe colors and pink is your Saturday and Sunday is your fuchsia. Every day she has given you, so you don't have to use it, but this is generally your timed appointment site, and where you have the circles would be your to-dos, your tick-off boxes. Then she gives you a big rectangle with a pot in it, and that is your dinner if you want to stick it in there. But of course you could use that for anything you want. You could use it for your exercise for the day. You could use it for your steps for the day. You could use it for your gratitude for the day. I mean, just because it has a pop there doesn't mean you have to use it for your dinner. If that doesn't work for you, if you don't need to keep your meal in there for you, for your lifestyle. So every single day, you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the left. You have Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday on the right. Saturday and Sunday are very small in the weekly planner. So you have to think about that. Is that going to work for your lifestyle? Sunday is even smaller because you have your weekly prep on there. Now, that Etsy sticker shop that I talked about, Faye, uh, I will list that down below. She does make a different size sticker for the weekly and a different size sticker for the daily if you wanted to cover those up. So she does make them um, fit exactly right in there. Uh, weekly is, of course, a smaller than the daily here. I will show you, of course. They would be very different size stickers. So here is your weekly prep in the daily. Here's your weekly prep in the weekly. There is a difference there. Okay. So you just have to think about if your life can fit, you know, into this. Do you work off of a horizontal weekly? Can you do that? 
you know, does it work for you to have two lined columns? Do you want appointments on one side and to-dos on the other? Or, you know, a lot of people might not have appointments that fill up their whole day. You could use this for to-dos also. So you just kind of have to think about if it will work for you or if the daily is better for you, if you're really trying to decide between these two. If you need a lot of room every day, if you want a whole page for every day and to start your list and to go from there. So it's really what season of your life you're in, you know, what your life is like personally and what your personality is like really. I forgot to mention in the weekly, you have one ribbon page marker. It's a different color depending on the cover that you pick. So for the fancy floral, it is pink. I believe they tell you on their website what color ribbon comes with every planner. She went over that a lot for launch week. And then I love these tabs, you guys. It makes it so easy to find your month. And it's kind of fun on the month when you turn there because the tab is longer on the month and it matches your color of the month. So Kelly green is like my favorite color besides navy. And I love seeing the green there. So that's kind of fun. As you go on, your tabs grow longer, of course, and it matches the color of your month. So that is how it's going to look like all the way at the end in July. And let's get to the note pages. That is your basic layout. Oh, and something else to note. On the back of your tabbed page, you have, it's on there too, on the back. And it is like, you know, a laminated fill. I don't know what it's called, a laminated feel. It's, maybe it's called something else for sure, but I don't know. But just to show you, for that week... So when your week is on the back of your monthly, you have that full laminated tab on that week also. I don't see why that would bother anyone, but I think it's good to note so people know for that one week, that's what you're going to see on the back there. And that's how it looks from the back. Okay, so your notes page is at the end. Okay, guys, I counted them for you. There's about 28 notes pages, I think. And what it says on the left-hand side, it's her pretty cursive font, notes in a dark teal blue. And then every page is just like that. It's on the left side, written notes, and the right side has nothing. And it's just line pages back here. So you have a good amount of notes pages in your weekly planner. And then you have your end pages, and she has her mantra, a standard of grace, not perfection. And even the cover is beautiful on the back. And you have your gold corner protectors. That's also on your daily. All right, guys. I hope I have covered everything in these two to answer any questions and maybe help you decide between these two planners. I know that there will be follow-up videos with these planners. I will also be doing a comparison of Simplify, this new one, with the newest day designer that I have because I do have an old comparison video from my 2017 one but I want to make an updated one and there will be other follow-ups maybe how I'm planning in mine I'm not sure what if anything I'm going to use the weekly planner for we will just see what it morphs into for this year and that's all I have for you guys on this today I'm excited I could do this for you her paper I didn't mention this is one of those papers that smells good too like Erin Condren it smells good you guys so I love that I am so happy that my pen tests just looked way better in this planner than my 2017. I'm not sure what was going wrong with my 2017, but this is different from my 2017. The paper is has reacted better to pens. So I don't know what else to tell you about that, except I'm happy about it. I'm definitely happy. I'm sure I will be spending a lot of time in this daily. Because I have other options to use too. I'm not sure if I'll use it the entire year, but we'll just see. We'll just see. I keep you guys updated on my Instagram as to what I'm planning in all the time as my daily kind of changes. And so if you want to follow me on Instagram, I would love for you to join me there. That's where I check in daily and where we really have a good community going there. So I love being able to connect there with everyone. I almost forgot to show you my pineapple pin cup. So I've been eyeing these for like maybe more than a year and it comes with a little pink ribbon wrapped around it and it says pin cup. So if you're giving it as a gift, I think it's a really nice touch that it comes with that because you don't really need to wrap it. It feels like metal to me and it's a really nice pin cup. I think it makes a beautiful gift 
for a teacher and it's a soft bottom for your desk so you're not banging it around so it's a nice soft kind of like foam like bottom and I think for a friend or a teacher or a secretary, I think it makes a very nice gift because who doesn't need a cute gold pen cup, right? I'm very excited I got it and I'm going to be filling it up. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Happy planning. Let me know if you have any questions down below or if you love and use a simplified planner. I'd love to know which one down below and how many years you've been using it. So I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.